Hi guys, so in this morning session we will study about the torque. The torque which is a very important part of the rotational dynamic. In translational motion, if we apply a greater force on a body, it will have greater acceleration and vice versa. Now in case of rotational motion, the force is not the only criteria, but it depends on the application of force from the axis of rotation. So just as suppose if you want to uh, open a nut with the help of a wrench, what you will do? This this will require a certain amount of a physical quantity, which if you will apply here a force F F1, right? And this is a critical value for this F1 for open this wrench nut. Then if you will apply here some force F2, then certainly the magnitude of F2 will be uh, quite large as compared to magnitude of force F1 to open the same nut, right? So it depends on, there is a factor which depends on distance of the axis of rotation from the point of application of force and now this is the turn. Actually, what turn gives? It gives the turning effect, right? It gives the turning effect. So let us first study the torque. Yeah, let us first define the torque, right? Torque is moment of force. What is torque? Torque is moment of force. Moment of a force, right? Moment, just I am jante hai. So we can define it as, we can define it as this tau, it is denoted by tau and it is given by r cross vector r cross vector f so agar suppose this is a arm and this is the hinge point so this is radius vector r from here and if we apply a force in the direction suppose this is the force which is making an angle theta to the arm right so this we have tau is equal to this tau is equal to vector tau is equal to r cross vector f right and magnitude wise we will write it rf sin theta rf sin theta where theta is the angle between this radius vector and this force vector right where theta is the angle between this radius vector and this force vector so <coughs> This is the torque. Uh, suppose what is F sin theta? In this problem, we should see what is this F sin theta. Now you see this is the R and F sin theta. F sin theta is component of this force. F sin theta will be component of this force in this direction. Now this is F sin theta and here it is F cos theta. So we can say that it is simply R into F sin theta. This can be written as R into F sin theta. So we can define torque in a different way that it is product of R, it is product of product of R and component of force and component of force. force perpendicular to R, right? Product of force and component of force perpendicular to R. So this may be the second definition of force, right? This may be second definition of force. Similarly, we can also define a force in different way. Out here, we can say second, <coughs> second definition from same derivation we can write, now this is the direction of force. Suppose if we extend the line of friction of force in backward direction and this is the point. So this is the radius vector r, this is the radius vector r. If this angle is theta, this angle is also theta. So what is, what is this length? Yes, I can say that this is also equal to this is also equal to 
r sin theta r sin theta ko hum yahan karte hain n into f r sin theta into f so this vector is r this vector is r and this angle is theta so of course this this length this length will be equal to this length will be equal to r sin theta right this length will be equal to r sin theta and this is the force right so we can define torque in different way that it is product of these two vectors yeah this is product of two quantity r sin theta and f r sin theta and f and what is r sin theta it is nothing but perpendicular distance from the point of application uh, point of hinge point right and line of action of force right so uh, force can also be defined at the second definition will be product of force this can be written as it is torque is product of force uh, and component of arm and component of arm component of arm perpendicular to force perpendicular to force so these are the various definition of torque right of what we can say just suppose this is the point of friction and f cos theta f cos theta so this f f cos theta will pass through the point of friction of force this f cos theta will pass through point of friction of force a uh, 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 yeah, uh, hinge point so this will not produce any torque this will have tendency to translate the point translate the body but it will not produce any torque about the points right so third point you can write third point you can write if a force third point if force or line of action of force if a force or line of action of force if a force or line of action of force passes through the point passes passes through the point where torque is desired where torque is required the torque is zero the torque is zero right Other suppose this is the point P and here is a force. Here is a force which is applied in this direction. So now, if this force or line of action of force passes through the point P, what will be later? This torque about point P will be equal to zero. So this is about the force, right? 